Today we are continuing our five step on how to forgive people in your life who has hurt you, people in your life that are on your blacklist. Last week we spoke about the general overview of these five steps. Do you remember the five steps? The five steps are number one, honesty. Number two is humility. Number three is mercy. Number four, generosity. Number five, trust. So last week I just gave you a general overview of this step, what it means to forgive other people. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I recommend you do that right now. And in that video I spoke about how all of us in our lives have people, whether it be in our family, whether it be in our masjid, whether it be in our workplace, whether it be in our friend circle, we have people that have hurt us. We have people that we hold grudges against. And, and last week I told you that forgiving other people, oftentimes when this topic is brought up, people think it means forgiving someone and, you know, and letting it go. When you forgive someone, it's not that you are letting it go in a sense that you, know, you say, okay, it doesn't hurt me anymore. Or it's not that you're weak. Or it's not that there's nothing else you can do. Matter of fact, it's the exact opposite, as I, as I, as I told you last week. And is that you are strong, that's why you forgive. It's because it does hurt, and that's why you're forgiving. Forgiving is an act of generosity. So today we're talking about honesty. Honesty. So what does it mean, number, step number one, being honest? That means being honest about the fact that it hurts you. You know, oftentimes, so, you know, I, I speak with people, um, whether it be in my um, therapy or in my uh, coaching work, or even friends and family members, and they will tell me a story or they'll talk about someone else, and I will tell them, you know, it seems like you're kind of upset. It seems like, you know, that person did you wrong. I said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not angry, I'm not upset. It doesn't bother me. They, they could do whatever they want, you know. Is it why we do that is because if you said, and honestly said, that no, nah, it did hurt me, then somehow you might feel that I'm giving the other person some power, right? That if I say that that person, what they did, what she did, and, you know, and, and you know, it did hurt me in some way, or that I hold some kind of grudge, people often associate that with being weak. So they don't want to be the one that's hurt. No, I'm not hurt. It's that person that's hurt. I just don't call them. I'm not angry. I just don't show up to their family gatherings. I'm, I'm not angry. <laughs> and we do that because we don't want to seem like we're weak. But the, if step number one, if you're going to forgive, and that's why a lot of times forgiveness doesn't work. Because you go to a lecture, or you read an article, or you read a nice quote on Facebook that says, oh, you know, let go of the shackles that are holding you back because the venom that is inside you, the, the, that grudge, that anger, that hurt, it stays within you, right? And you read those quotes and like, yeah, I'm going to forgive. But what you're missing, number one, is acknowledging that that, that person did hurt me. Right? So I want you to, in this moment, think about someone in your life. Whether it be at work, whether it be someone in your past, someone in a past relationship, whether it be someone you used to do business with, your ex-business uh, partner. Think about that person. Think about you know, the, why you don't speak to them. Think about why you don't associate with them. Think about why you don't go to places with them any, any longer. Well, it's, you had a close friend all throughout high school, all throughout college, you guys are together. All of a sudden something happened. And you guys hate each other's guts. So I want you to think about that person in your life, and we all have some or a one. And I mean, if it's very little, or if it's a lot, you know, I want you to think about that person, whether it be a family member, a former, uh, you know, uh, your ex-wife, ex-husband, whether it be a brother in the masjid, a sister in one of your uh, youth groups, whatever the case might be. I want you to think about that person and really look deep down and say, you know what, what that person did, did hurt me. And you know what, the reality is, I do hold some grudge. You got to be honest about yourself about that. It doesn't make you weak. It makes you human. You know, even Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallam, you know, Hind, the wife of Abu Sufyan, you know, at, at, the, at the Battle of Uhud, on, on, on of the, uh, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the companions and, 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 and the Quraysh of Mecca, they were engaged in this struggle. And, you know, the Hamza, the uncle of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, was killed. And Hind not only killed, not, not only had him killed, she went and daggered his heart. And, you know, and, 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 and ate his flesh, almost a cannibalistic. 
And Prophet ﷺ, that's his beloved uncle. And many years later, Hind became Muslim. She came to Rasulullah and she said, I, you know, I want to become Muslim. I want to take the Shahada. And of course, you know, somebody, some, someone takes on uh, you know, uh, the Shahada and they want to repent, they want to turn back to Allah. Allah forgives everything before the Shahada. Allah forgives everything from their past life. But Rasulullah he, he felt the pain. When Hind was is, is standing in front of him, he felt the pain. You know, he, he, and he expressed it. That yes, my sister, welcome to Islam. But he expressed the fact that he feels hurt from what has happened years ago. Because he's human and that's his uncle. So what I'm telling you is that as you are going in this journey of the five step of forgiving someone and allowing yourself to be freed, allowing yourself to really heal, allowing yourself to let go of that venom inside, allowing yourself to really move forward because you know people who hold grudges, studies show that they live shorter lives. People who can forgive quickly and can move on and, 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 and they, they, they are the people that actually have better cardiovascular health. And, and forgiving doesn't mean that you, you don't say that it didn't hurt. You say it did hurt. Forgiving doesn't mean that you say, you know what, what they did was okay. <laughs> you say, no, what they did was not okay. And because of that, you, you forgive. It's not that you go and tell them, you know what, I forgive you. I'm writing, a I'm writing you a text message. I saw this video on, 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 on YouTube. I saw this video on Facebook and I, I want to forgive. So I'm forgiving you. You don't even do that, as we talked about in the last video. So what I'm telling you in this step number one, is honesty, brutal honesty with yourself and say, you know what, it did hurt me. I do have some grudges. As strong as I am, and as, as you know what, I'm, I don't care who says what, it just slips past me. Even some of you have been through pranks within your friend circle, and you know some of that prank has hurt you in some way. And you don't want to acknowledge it because you're going to be the man, you know, you don't want to be the weak guy. Right? But being brutally honest and saying it did hurt me. So try this step number one. Look at your life and say, you know what, how did I feel hurt? That person backbite about me. It did take me off. And you can, you can say that. That's okay. You can say that. And then you can move on to step number two, three, four, and five. Honesty. Being brutally honest with yourself and how you felt and what you've experienced and what you still hold on to really deep inside. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.